This week marks the 25th annual Women in Construction Week, and as part of the celebration, we are sharing a first-of-its-kind program that's underway in Tulsa, and it's designed to break down career barriers. In tonight's Positively Oklahoma, 2 News anchor Julie Chin shows us how a new nonprofit is paving the way for women in construction. I'm excited about it. Eventually, I want to build my own house, like, and just make it my dream home. You want to pass that around. Delisha Williams' future is built on big dreams. All my life I've been interested in something that had to do with housing. Um, at first it was architecture, and then I realized I was really bad at math, and so I wanted to do interior design. And eventually it just came to where I just wanted to actually help build houses. Identifying the various components of a building. And now, a new nonprofit is giving women like Delisha the tools to do just that. It's called Women Accessing Non-Traditional Trades, or WANT. Laura Stauffer is one of the co-founders. You know, our goal is kind of, I like to think, is twofold. One is to get women to earn a living wage, and the other is to expose them to the construction industry and construction skills. We're going to build some workbenches. It turns out there aren't many women in construction in Oklahoma. The statistic I keep quoting and that I've heard is that only 3% of the construction workers are women in this state. They can set a two before on edge. These faces are changing that. The nonprofit's inaugural class, women like Felicia Battle. Women are coming to the field, so, you know, appreciate your help, you know, respect your help and love it because we're coming to help. We might not have the brawn, but we have the brains. And so, you know, everybody approaches a job differently, and I think what women can bring to the construction field of construction is a different way of looking at things. WANT is a free eight-week pre-apprenticeship training program teaching women the skills they need. It's everything from construction math to CPR. I've learned different tools to work with, you know. I've learned OSHA. That was my first thing exciting. Um, and I've gotten a real fresher, a refresher on uh, math and fractions and all that good old stuff that I haven't seen in so many years. They'll have basic skills that will take them to a job to where they'll have the confidence to do a good job. And we talked about... The program uh, is made possible by grants and donations. Local companies like Hilti provide refurbished tools. And Tulsa Tech donated the classroom space. I am, you know, working on getting my life together and to be able to do this for free is just like, I have no words for it. It's truly a blessing. If you'll remember. The women spend eight hour days here, three days a week. Mornings center on construction skills. And you're gonna have a seal. With while afternoons dog. focus on life skills. And those life skills are gonna help them learn how to better communicate, how to deal with conflict, how to keep a check in the count. And while they're retooling careers and leadership skills, a sisterhood is being formed here too. You know, it's maybe tough to be a, the only woman on a job site. And this way you have someone to call or someone to, to reach out to and say, hey, this happened to me, what do you think? And things like that, that really is helpful. Angle grinder. The program is just a few weeks in, and the students say it's already laying a solid foundation for a brighter tomorrow. This gives me the opportunity to explore and get to where I actually want to be in life. How does something like this make you feel about your future? Oh, excited. I am definitely excited, you know, to, to be hands-on, to be one of the pilot women in the WANT program, you know, to show them how it's done and that it can be done, so. Julie Chin, 2 News, Oklahoma. I love what she just said, showing that it can be done. That's yes. awesome. Well, Wanta is planning a job fair for when the women graduate and is currently welcoming companies to join in on that fair. And if you'd like more information on that, or if you'd like to be a part of the next cohort or donate to this nonprofit, we've added a link for you on cagereach.com. Just click on Positively Oklahoma.